All right, so the first TED, I just, I loved it. It was such a funny comedy. Like, it, it, its jokes were so consistent. The cast gave off really good performances. It had a pretty solid story. So wh where do you go from there? Well, the answer, well, Universal's answer was a sequel. TED 2, released in 2015. This one, not too many people seem, seem to enjoy. But you know what? I actually had fun with this. I, I, I thought it was a pretty solid movie. Y y yes, I, I don't think it's as good as the first. But still, like, it's still really enjoyable to me. All right, so let's get all the negative stuff out of the way. One, I feel like the villain's downplay. He seems more pathetic. But it is kind of, I do feel kind of satisfied seeing him just get arrested after he just kind of, um, you, you know, you know, um, yeah, as I was saying, he was just kind of pathetic. Um, yeah, um, it isn't, it's slightly less funny, but, um, I'll, I'll get to, I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'll continue that in a bit. And, uh. Um, yeah, I, I just can't, oh yeah, and some of the jokes, um, yeah, some of the jokes fell a bit flat, like the Liam Neeson with tricks, that one just kind of, but you know what, everything else about the movie is really good. Mark Wahlberg and Seth Mc, uh, Mark Wahlberg and Seth MacFarlane still continue their fantastic chemistry as John and Ted. It's it's like one of the best um, best friend dynamics um, I've seen in movies. I, I really enjoy their dynamic and friendship. Amanda Seyfried. I'm always I'm always bad at just pronouncing celebrities' names wrong. I I don't know why. But it, but anyways, um, Amanda's performance here is actually really good. I think she's a really underrated a actress I think like she's done a lot of great stuff and I feel like we don't talk about it as much and this is one of my favorites from her along with Mean Girls even though I said this film is slightly less funny than the first this one still delivers some just hysterical moments like Sorry. Um, first off, you got the like Ted just being like, "There's so much porn," and then destroying John's laptop, and then um, what else? What else? Um, guy going around as the tick in Comic Con. And just some of the other stuff like. Some of the slapstick with Ted, like the shotgun guitar. You see that? That's all good. That's all good. But there are two crown jewels of funniness in this film that just had me just laughing so loud and hard. One, it's John taking a picture of Ted uh, smoking the the bong cock. <laughs> like. <laughs> It's not only is it just funny, like of John getting payback, but also just because like it you really just it's it's just like a nice little moment of, of two best friends just fucking around. But the one that just made me laugh the most <laughs> for how small it was, Ted just getting angry and then just pulling out his phone and playing Angry Birds in the corner room. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I know some people might find these jokes unfunny, but I find them funny, and sometimes I wonder. I think I laugh too hard at these jokes. <laughs> but, I, but they're still just so good. Um, um, there are some of the returning people are also really good, like uh, Patrick Warburg and 
some of the other ones like Dennis Hay- Dennis Haysburg and uh, Morgan Freeman. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the music. I the music is still great, and I especially love that opening musical m- montage or the opening musical number. Um, it really just like it, you could still feel like um, McFarlane was able to bring out his uh, kind of love for classical music or like old school musical style into his live action stuff. Like we already saw that with Family Guy with something like um, Shibupi, um Canadian nudie bars, but uh, I, it, it's fantastic here. Now something that some people seem to dog on is that they were upset when Mila Kunis wasn't brought back. And while like, I can understand why, I, you know what, I kind of don't see it as a problem. You see, people in life just kind of, n- not everyone they find is the right person. So I think it actually kind of makes sense. But yeah, even though it's slight, just slightly weaker than the first, Ted 2 it still delivers like a really, really good sequel. And I'm, and I'm just glad, like, my kind, like, I saw some little clips of this, um, my brothers were playing this, like, around the time it was coming out on digital, and, um, I thought some of the stuff was funny, and you know what, I'm actually surprised my childhood self w- w- was right, that I really enjoyed some of this stuff. What do you know?